Hello everybody, Abby Stormbreaker back to another video. And today you guys, um, I just love a brand new ball. Um, I had the ball previously beforehand. I had it, um, I used it a lot. Um, I was, my best friend of the bought it for me originally. And, uh, um, used it a lot. Uh, it wore out. Sadly, wore out. It was not in the greatest condition, but it's not my best friend of the fault. Um, so pretty much what I had to do is I had to get myself a brand new one. And today you guys, I'm going to be showing you my brand new Zen that I had to drill because my old one was dying out because it was in bad shape. It wasn't my, wasn't my best friend Lloyd's fault at all. Um, so I drilled a new one. Uh, I still consider that my um, friendship gift, my best friend of little wife. I thank you very much, Bestie, for that. Um, and, uh... Wish I didn't have to draw a new one, but hey, I still consider it a gift from her either way. But um, I'm going to be comparing it to my Zen Master today. Um, telling you guys a little bit about both of them and what I see out of both of them, especially my new Unbox Zen, I, what I see out of it, and uh, what I see out of my Zen Master. So here we go. I'm going to open both. I'm going to open my bag up here. Uh, I just got back to the alley for practicing my best friend with me. Her we're practicing bowl one. And uh, to make a long story short, I ended up throwing my Zen Master the first game, and then I, am, I was breaking in, throwing some more games with my Zen and breaking it in, because I put a different, um, I put the RS, my same layout as my RSTX 2 on the Zen. Cut my Zen Master at uh, my normal um, pin over middle finger layout, um, just over my middle finger. I did the Zen a tall pin over the middle finger, so I did the Zen to be like my RSTX 2 and RSTX 1. Further down the lane, snap a lot, a lot harder. So that's how I drill both of them out. So my solid Zen Master, as you guys can see, the pin is just over the middle finger. It's my normal, normal symmetrical layout that I use on most of my symmetrics. My phase two, my phase three has pin over the bridge, about medium high. IQ Tour has that same layout as my phase three. Um, but most of my symmetrics, um, have the pin above the middle finger. Only because I want, that's my, really my favorite layout. Really my, my, my favorite, I use a layout and use on most of my stuff because it's the most predictable layout I can put on a ball. With my rev rate my, and my axis tilt and axis rotation and how I throw the ball being two-handed um, with the thumb. Um, that is the most, that's the most predictable layout I can put on any bowling ball that I have in my arsenal. It'll give me the most predictable shape and it will react especially really good on the lines. Zen Master, I, this is like my one of my favorite global balls, one of my favorite solid global balls that I have uh, in in the Storm line, one of my favorite solids. My other favorite solid, um, I'm gonna be getting very soon, I've been seeing a lot of people throw it, is the Zen Soul, and I've been, and uh, with the Zen Soul being added, that's gonna be a very good solid ball for nine global for me. Um, I'm doing that reality check, which is gonna be which is a hybrid. Um, and I know when I get the reality drill, that's gonna be another one of my favorite solids in the back, and I, it's gonna be very strong, and I'm gonna be able to use that ball a lot, a lot on heavy oil. If my Zed Master is not turning the corner on the heavy oil conditions, and the, there's too much oil on the lane for this, I'll pick up my reality, or I'll pick up any of my other asymmetrical balls for very heavy oil, like my Halo solid, my um, Proton Physics, my, um, um, Let's say my um, UFO, my UFO alert, um, code red, um, like any of those. Infinite physics, I'm going to be drawing up very shortly or a Nova because I'm going to get the Nova in the bag as well. And if, if I cannot get my Zen Master to turn the corner on heavy oil conditions or any of the other balls that I use on heavy oil, if none of those are working, I'll pull out my R6-1 or R6-2 or any of those other options I just mentioned without the ones that I have not mentioned, like the Codex or the um, Cold, uh, cold um, I'm sorry, Dark Code. So I have a lot of sm um, options for the top of my bag. Depends on the, how the conditions are when you start and uh, how they progress throughout the night going into league and uh, going on what pair of lanes that I'm going to be on because uh, Lanes one through six at, at Ripex carries the lanes. Um, where I bowl at are a little bit different than they are for seven through the seven for twenty four. Because there's twenty four lanes in the center, and uh, 
Lanes one through six are a little bit more friction than seven through 24. So you have to play a little bit deeper on lanes one through six. And there's times you have to play a little bit straighter because sometimes the lanes are not hooking enough over there. And sometimes they hook way too much, but most of the time they hook way too much. So you have to play um, deeper and swing the ball out. Now, when I had my Zen originally, my older one, I was wondering where the reaction was because it was either gonna either hooked a good amount and struck for me, playing straighter. I had to play a second or third arrow. I had to play between second and third, actually. I couldn't really swing the, that old Zen because it was in such bad shape on my side of the ball because um, Phil Jones didn't take very good care of the ball. Sorry to say that. But um, so my best, so what I did is I went out to Jeff. I said to Jeff and I said, can you do me, I said, drill me a new Zen. I put money down on it and I uh, drilled myself a new one. So there's the logo, way better condition. Uh, I have it polished, I didn't dull it. I kept it the way it was, I had my old one. Um, I put a tall pin on this one. So what I did is I drilled it like my RSTX2. I did, the, I used the RSTX2 layout and I made it so it hooks more and sharper on the back end. So with my tall pin and uh, everything, it's gonna get down the lane and it's gonna get hit sharp on the back, back end. So when uh, the lane starts to break a little bit and you need to get lot, um, get, I need to get right and shape it, this ball will do it for me. This ball was so versatile lot yesterday. Uh, I, I bowled yesterday there at Carousel as well. I was playing fifth arrow and my best friend, Little Wave, was so shocked. She was like, this ball, she was like, the weight, she was, she was like, I can't believe that this thing is hooking back from fifth arrow. I mean, a lot of bowling balls do not hook back from that deep, unless you really slow your speed down. But I literally was throwing it, my, pretty much almost my normal speed. I just went maybe, maybe a mile an hour slower. And it was coming around the corner and hitting the pins super, super hard. So... You guys got a Zen Master or a Zen Soul, and you guys need a pearl to a pearl ball for like medium medium oil conditions or medium to heavy oil conditions, like when your Zen Master starts to not carry anymore and it's uh, starting to break down a tiny bit but not fully um, broken down yet. The Zen will come into play great, and it can go down from this to like a high road pearl, an OG high road, maybe a hustle ink, hustle wine, hustle camo. Um, hyped solid, hyped pearl, hyped hybrid, any of those, or a burner pearl. If you're a storm road and a global bowler, any of those will be good for a step down. If you're, uh, it, say your OG Hyrule not gonna, is not carrying for the lighter oil, you can switch out to a weaker ball like a Hustle Ink, Hustle Camo, any of uh, the hyped solid um, hybrid or pearl. Any of those that are, gonna, that are gonna bridge that gap on the low end of your bag before you reach your fan and, and plastic. So, I don't I'm, I don't have a things in the arsenal right now. Um, that pitch block that I had last video that I showed way back, that one was in very bad condition. I didn't even decide to draw it. And uh, the hot cell that my best friend Lil Wave did have from Joe Bazonic, uh, that originally was mine. Um, we had to throw it away because it um was not in good condition either. So um, both the pitch block and the hot cell got thrown in the garbage. Um. If I ever decide to draw some new urethane, that's when I'll get myself a UC3, a pitch purple possibly, a fast pitch, and a pitch black. So I have some options. Maybe a fever pitch, but that's only if I decide to draw some urethane. Um, I mean, if I draw any urethane, I'm probably just going to draw like one or maybe like three or four. Um, that'll give me a little bit of a different shape. So depending on how the brains are on short patterns, I have a couple, like a three or four different shapes on the back end that are not the same reaction. So I might do that, but we'll just see what um, happens during that time. Okay, you guys. So there will be a review at some point on the channel, probably next week or so, maybe before that, of a comparison between my Zen Master and my Zen. So stick around for the video. Um, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, this is Abby Stormbreaker signing out. Peace.